hello, it's me again, Prezo Meja in Sagot Ambos from BS Edmet 1A. So for today, we will have an another video tutorial about right triangle and then right triangle using the law of cosine. And also, I will give an example about this. First, right triangle. It is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle. Right angle means it has a measurement of 90 degrees. As we observe in this illustration, the angle BCA or angle C is a right angle. Therefore, this illustration is an example of right triangle. Second is non-right triangle. It means any triangle that is not a right triangle, it is called oblique triangle. In the illustration, it is an example of non-right triangle. Whereas in this case, we will find the measurement of the three angles and sides. Lastly, the law of cosine. This was used when we need to know either the length of two sides at the measure of the included angle or side angle side or the length of the three sides. In finding the unknown of a certain problem, just use these formulas. In this time, let's try to solve a worded problem using the law of cosine. So here's the illustration. Side A is equal to 10, side C is equal to 18, side B is the unknown, and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And here's the solution. The illustration shows that the triangle is a side angle side form. And this time, since the unknown is the side B, therefore we're going to use the B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 times A times C times the cosine of angle B. Then change the sides and angle to its corresponding measurement. Then we come up with 20.59 feet. Now, let's proceed to the problem number two. Here's the illustration. Side A is equal to 24. Side B is equal to 24. Side C is equal to 36. And angle A is the unknown. And here's the solution. The illustration shows that the triangle is a side, side, and side form. In this problem, the unknown is the angle A. Therefore, we will going to use the formula A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of angle A. Then, change the sides to its corresponding measurement. Then, we come up to the answer 41 degrees.